Alright, today I have a new project. Um, this is a uh, Toyota van, and the uh, project today is gonna do a front grille block on this van. So, the plan is to uh, build something that block this front grille so that um, makes the car uh, more aerodynamic and uh, thus makes it uh, more fuel efficient. Um, so, my plan is to use uh, some wooden blocks, these are 2 by 4 cut into uh, I would say about 7-8 inches long and I'm gonna have 3 of these in the front, one here one here, one in the middle and one on the side and in order to stick it to the front like so I need to have some in the back so I have another piece of wood in the back behind it, this grill and I'm gonna drill a hole through the first one and then uh, I'm gonna have the piece of wood in the back to support uh, behind the grill to support the front like so <coughs> right. and then after that I'm going to use a uh, piece of acrylic uh, or what they call a plexiglass cut into this shape cut into this shape and uh, secure it to the a wood stud and that's the plan alright let me get started I'll be right back alright so I have attached two of the wood stud on the front as you can see here there's a piece of wood stud on the back to support the front so the screw go through the front and go to the back as well so in the back, uh, piece of wood in the back, support the piece on the front. And this one right here, I'm just starting to uh, put it in. You can see, it's going to go in here like so. And I'm going to put this piece of wood to the back and screw this in. Alright. Okay, I'm ready to uh, make a mold, sort of, for the acrylic. So here I have the acrylic piece. Uh, and first, I need to make a mold, something I can trace on, in order to uh, make a shape on the acrylic piece and cut it. And here I have a piece of paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace. First what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two halves. So one half, two pieces uh, each uh, on each side. So it's going to split right in the middle. Because first of all, my piece of acrylic is not long enough. It's not long enough for the whole thing. Secondly, um, if I can have the front wheel block in two halves in a very hot day and I can just remove one side of the wheel block and still have the other side in place um, that way uh, I can have my car cool down while I can I still have my uh, wheel block in, in place or like if it's in the winter or in cold weather and just have the whole thing on. So that's the plan. Alright, so now I'm just gonna put it in here and 
choice. Like so. So I'm fit the top. Fit the top. And then I'm gonna trace it with my fingernails. So so the half come up to here. And then I'm gonna trace the round corner here. My fingernail. I'm going to trace all my uh, acrylic uh, plastic glass and I'm going to cut it. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got one half cut and um, I just realized that if I, let's see, um, so this is one half, alright, so if I Flip the other way around. It's like a mirror image. You flip the other way around. It's gonna fit on the other half too. You see? Perfectly. So I don't have to cut two pieces. I just have to cut one mold for both uh, for both sides. Just flip it over. How cool is that, huh? Alright, so I have a piece of acrylic cut, you can see, um, this is just one half, I'm going to apply it on that, just uh, put some screws on it, right, I'll be right back. Alright, so I've just done uh, screwing it in. Um, the plastic uh, cheese the acrylic plexiglass I mean so I screw two screw here I've got let's see it's a little bit bright from the sun here but uh, you can see one screw here one screw here and also one screw from here to the plastic under it Alright, so I guess I'm gonna paint all of this white and it's gonna look just fine. You won't see anything behind this. Okay, time to make another panel on the the other side, the left side. Alright, so today I only have one side block. This side, this side is not. And I'm at the gas station, and uh, today I have trouble. Let's see, I have trouble for about um, 430 miles, and I'm filling it up. And uh, let's see how many gallons. So I'm gonna wait until this is full. So now it's full, the stock, so it's full. So I have 15.7 gallons. And I have traveled 430 miles. So I'll to calculate the mile per gallon, I take 430 divided by 15.7. Alright, so let me do the math here. I need a calculator. But uh, at the top of my head, I think it's about 27. But I'll be right back. Alright, 430 miles divided by 15.7. Let me show you my uh, Malik, the uh, distance that I travel today. Right? So I've just finished painting 
these two panels and I just realized that um, instead of having the um, the side with the paints facing out I do it the other way so I have the, the side that has the paint facing in that way it's get, it gets protected from from the elements um, so you know it's not easily get scratched by hitting box and other things so I can still do that because I have two sides two halves so this side here used to be on here so if the paint facing out it used to be on here like so now I put it the paint facing in is perfectly fit on this side and it will be the same on the other side so the paint is going to face in on this side like so All right. that way that way the paint is protected from the elements Right, I'm gonna drill some hole, put it in, and be right back. All right, I've driven 412 miles. See, I'm uh, trying to fill up a gas station here. I'm putting the, uh, the two uh, front grill, one on this side, one on this side, painted white. Let's see how much gas. Alright, so I've got 15.2 gallon and it just stopped. So let's see how how much that is. Alright, I do some calculation, I'll be right back. 15.2 gallons. Alright, um, I've just done with the calculation. Uh, so we got 412 miles, 15.2 gallons, and uh, with that I got 27.1 miles per gallon. And uh, before this is this is for the grill complete a grill block. The previous one I got one side of the grill block and the other side is open because I didn't complete yet. And it got almost about the same, so about 27. And this time, both sides is still 27.1. I think this is the same because this time my 412 mile trip, I got stuck in traffic for about more than an hour, almost uh, almost two hours. And I was driving in the rain almost the entire time, so that's why I, I think I could have gotten more, probably about 28 miles per gallon. And um, before, before I did the front grill block, my average before before was about. Uh, 23 is is my best so before the front grill block I average about 23 now I got about 27 so that's that's about 17 percent different so probably approximately uh, 17 percent different And that's a great improvement. Um, my car is has very big, and I mean, like it's got a big engine, not very big, but uh, the engine is 3.5 liter, 3.5 liter engine, and it's a van. It's a van, so it's big, so it's it's not very fuel efficient, and most people, most people. Got about eight, seventeen, eighteen mile per gallon average. 
uh, I'm a hyper miler, so I got 23 uh, before the front grip block. But now, with just one modification, I got 27, which is even 17% more improvement. And um, that's a lot. I mean, just for that modification alone. So, say, if I pay a hundred dollars for gas, right? I'm gonna save seventeen dollars. So, you know, that's a lot of money for just a little bit of improve a, a modification. So, um, that is pretty good. So I guess I'm gonna do the same for my other cars too. And um, so far, I'm pretty happy with it. All right, guys, uh, that's all I have, and thank you for watching.